Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data scientist or a data analyst, then cracking the SQL interview is a very important stage for attaining your dream. Myself, MLU Prasad, I am a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in the different interviews for the SQL round and all the questions are available in the Leadboard platform. For that, I have created some solutions and uploaded in my YouTube channel. All the my solutions which are uh, provided for these questions are there in my GitHub repository. The link for that is available in the chart description below. In addition to that, I have also, also segregated the channel into five playlists, namely easy, medium and hard depending upon the difficulty of the question and the premium level subscription questions as premium playlist questions and also all combined all the 230 questions into one single playlist as all SQL playlist. In addition to that, uh, the question which we are trying to solve today is question number 2372 calculate the influence of each salesperson. Okay, let's see the question in action. They have given a table which is consisting of salesperson, customer and uh, what the sales they have done. Write an SQL query to report the sum of prices paid by the customer of each salesperson. Okay. If a salesperson does not have any customers, the total value should be zero. Okay. Let's see it first of all. Let's see this table. Okay. There are three salespersons, namely allies, Bob, Jerry. Okay. Allies has two customers, one, two. Okay. Bob has, if you see, they are connected by salesperson. And similarly, Bob has a customer called customer ID three, and Jerry doesn't have any customer. Okay. Now what they are doing? Sale ID one, customer ID two. Now this customer ID has brought something for 892 rupees. Alright. Now again uh, customer 1 has brought it for 354 rupees. We are joining these two again with customer. Again 3 has brought for what? 988 rupees. Again 3 has brought for what? 856 rupees. Right, so if we combine them, salesperson one total price will be the sum of these things, salesperson two will be sum of these two things. As uh, salesperson three doesn't have anything, his sale will be zero. So, what we need to do is we need to join all these three tables using left join, right? And whenever it is not matching, we need to return it as some zero from. What you want? Salesperson ID. Salesperson only. A. Left to join. Customer. B. On. A dot. Salesperson. ID equal to B dot salesperson ID. Okay. Select all. Here you can see one one two as that respect to customers, but uh, three doesn't have any customers so null. Again, what we need to do? We need to do, do join again left to join to third table sales C such that they are connected by what customer b dot customer id equal to uh, what is this c dot customer id
now you can see for each salesperson what are their respective customers prices now what we need to do we need to group by salesperson id comma name and we need to take what salesperson id comma name comma sum of price or let's call it sp Okay, salesperson ID is in A. Here also A. So now what we got for each salesperson, we got the respect to IDs. But whenever it is not matching, it will show null. But we don't want null. We want to show it as zero. So we'll keep keeping coalesc. Whenever it is null, keep it zero. And the alias name should be what total submit it okay our solution has been accepted by the platform thanks for watching my video if you want more detailed explanations like this please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and colleagues who are preparing for a data analyst or a data scientist interview for the sql round it will be greatly helping them and you also thanks for watching just keep practicing and one day you will be able to crack any sql round